No one's done it before the way we did it. So I guess it takes flexibility, um, a sense of history, a sense of the present, um, some idea of what it is you're trying to do, a certain amount of resilience because everyone had ideas how to do it, but in the end we were the people who had to do it. Um, and a sense of humour because <laughs> why would you think you'd ever have to do this? <laughs> and at one level everyone's going to be out to say you didn't do it the way they would have done. At another level, and I think what we achieved was actually people said, wow, that was a really good thing you did there. Thank you. So I'm the Dean of Leicester and I was acting on behalf of the cathedral as the person responsible, I guess, for the reburial of Richard. So the university, during their phase of investigation, uh, under the license that was issued by the Ministry of Justice had responsibility for uh, those human remains. But once they came on site, it became my responsibility to ensure that the remains were treated properly and were buried with Christian ceremony and everything was done as well as it could possibly be done. To be honest, we were blown away by the public reaction at the time of the reinterment. We knew there was a lot of public interest in advance, but it was very hard to quantify what that would be. But in the event, during the period of lying in repose, when the coffin was in the cathedral and the public were invited to come, as, as a matter of public record, um, we managed the response, but it was overwhelming. Over 20,000 people filed past that coffin in two and a half days. Uh, and we managed to keep going, the worship of the cathedral, which has always been very important to us while that was happening. Um, and afterwards, we knew people would keep coming. We didn't quite know the measure. I mean, in the event, during 2015, over 210,000 people came to the cathedral um, to see the tomb of Richard III, I guess. I mean, who knows why people came. But, but you know, the years previously, you know, it was one-tenth of the amount of visitors. So is that a problem? Yes. Is it an opportunity? Absolutely. So we've been living in what we call the new normal since then of welcoming all these people into our cathedral, most of whom are interested in the story of Richard. They want to see the tomb. The other thing they want to see is the pall, which was over the coffin, which is on display here, and the crown that went with it. Yeah, it was very important to us that um, we uh, made sure that all the way through this phrase dignity and honour marked everything we did and that was a phrase the cathedral came up with and often at board meetings and so on I would ask people the question how does that thought show us what dignity and honour means and if, if people weren't able to answer that question then it was something we didn't do. So the reinterment of Richard III enabled us to change that arrangement. So what we've actually done, for anyone who's been in the cathedral and sees it, there's a large wooden screen just to the west of the ambulatory, at which we moved back a bay. So that was there, that marked the chapter house edge. There was a load of fixed seats in that area, which have all gone. And so now we've turned the old chapter house into two spaces. One is a new sanctuary, the main centre of worship of the cathedral with a new altar right under the tower in the middle, and then behind that is the ambulatory where the tomb is, taking up the other half of the space. So we found this order of service, um, and it took uh, a story from the Bible, um, uh, which is a very important story, which you find at the end of the book of Genesis, when um, the bones of Joseph uh, the great figure, you know, of the technical dream coat and so on, that great figure, he died um, not back in his home country and they moved his bones uh, from Egypt back into the promised land. And, and so there's a great sense of tenderness about that, the sense of a story completing itself. And so that was the main motif in the order of service. And then we adapted it to make sense of it for a 21st century audience. Uh, and used the sort of the basic shape of that to provide structure for the service.